Okay guys, my name is Sayuma. I'm an esthetician and a co-founder at Glow Spot and Y, which I own with my sister. We've been open for a little over four years now, but we've both been in the industry for well over 10 years. So if you're ever in New York City, come by. We've got a pretty rad little place. So, anywho, getting into my skin, I do have adult acne, which I have under pretty good control, I'd say, compared to what it used to look like. It was some pretty gnarly, just pustules everywhere. I also do have combination skin as well. This is a nighttime skincare routine. So my main focus for tonight is acne and anti-aging. So I'm gonna get my hair wrapped up and we will start with the cleanse, which I'll tell you more about in a sec. So I'm gonna be starting my skincare routine off with the Image Ageless Total Facial Cleanser. So let me get this on and I will tell you a little bit more about it. So this is a foaming cleanser, which is really great for taking off makeup. It also is really nice at rebalancing the pH of your skin, which means uh, basically there's no need for a toner and it has glycolic acid. So literally no need to tone after this. It is good to keep this on for about 60 seconds to really get the active ingredients to just like work their way into your skin. This is really great for acne and for anti-aging. Just like to rub it in as much as I can. Sometimes I do a facial massage. Facial massage when you're doing your cleanser to me is probably like one of the most important things. I mean, since you want your cleanser to sit on your skin for a little bit longer, like why not get the blood circulation going? Which from massaging your skin, getting that blood circulation actually does help with acne and also relaxes your muscles, which makes your skin look brighter and more youthful. I like to knuckle on my forehead while I'm cleansing to really help make it look like I have no lines. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off and then get started with a mask for the night. I obviously don't do it every night, but tonight we're on mixed makeup, so we gotta do a mask. Usually I will mask in the shower and only kind of leave it on for about two or three minutes, but I recently discovered a newer mask that I really, really like, and I'm so happy I found it. It's the Youth to the People, the Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask. The reason why I am so happy I found it is because I feel like clay masks can really just go either way on your skin. They can be really amazing or they can break you out even more by just drying out your skin. And I found that this does not dry you out at all. So this has volcanic clay, which I've had before and I know it's actually pretty gentle. And French green clay, which is probably where this clay gets its color from. So you are supposed to leave this mask on for about 10 minutes, but I'm only gonna leave it on for about five because they do have sensitive skin. But the reason why I love clay masks, even for just like, you know, two to five minutes, is because they really help to just clean out my pores, make them almost rebalance, which this clay mask is also another mask that does help to balance your skin's moisture barrier, which is super awesome. I don't feel like a lot of clay masks really truly help with that or put, take that into consideration. And I really, really like the way this one does. It even just feels good putting it on. Okay, so we've let this mask dry just long enough. So now I'm gonna rinse this off, but instead of like rinsing first, I actually like to put my face wash right on top of my mask. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Face Wash. It is definitely one of my favorites. Love it. Also helps to clear pores, balances your skin's pH, is a really nice cleanser, also very gentle. Cold pressed antioxidants, so your skin is definitely in good hands with this cleanser. So now that my face is clean after doing this mask, you can see there's pretty much zero redness, which for me, after doing a clay mask, almost never happens. I'm usually always really red, really irritated, or just very sensitive after, and I don't feel that at all. So just another reason why I really, really do enjoy this face mask. So if you've got sensitive skin, I would definitely 
invest in that if I were you. So I am gonna go in with my first serum, which is the Is Clinical Active Serum. This is my favorite tried and true. I've been using it for years. This is really wonderful at helping with acne because it does have natural extracts similar to glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acid, which makes it super gentle yet extremely effective. And I know that mixture makes it sound like it's really aggressive, but it's actually hydrating. There are nights when I go to bed and just use this serum and still wake up with dewy, like healthy looking and feeling skin. So I really, really do enjoy this serum. You only need about two to four drops, maybe up to six, you know, if it's a bad day, but I'm only gonna need four. I do wet my fingertips just to get it moving around. And then I just tap it in. If you've got sensitive lips, obviously do not do this over your lips. They will tingle. That was pretty much what helps me with my acne. And now I'm going to go into my anti-aging. This is the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift Serum. I use about two pumps every night. Resveratrol is basically a vine antioxidant, which helps to firm skin since you know, vines stay alive all year round. So I guess they wanted to do some research into, you know, why this specific ingredient does that. And so I think that's pretty unique. I do like alternatives to retinol just because I don't use them in my skincare routine, basically because retinol does not like my skin for whatever reason. It reacts really, really strongly. I break out so bad. It's so painful that I just, I can't get past that breakout process. So, I don't use it, unfortunately. Maybe one day my skin can tolerate it, but right now it cannot. But, you know, I think really good use of a glycolic acid, which helps with cellular turnover anyways, is gonna help brighten my skin. And along with really good hydrators, it's gonna help keep it youthful as well. I mean, I think the key to remaining youthful is bright and hydrated skin. When your skin looks like that, it just makes you look so much younger. Plump skin is what we look for, right? Like when we see youthful people out there and when they look that way, it makes them look a lot younger, no matter what their age is. So that's, that's my main goal. That makes me happy. So pretty much to finish off my skincare routine, I'm going to be using the Belief Aqua Balm, the True Cream. It is not too creamy or luxurious, even though it's got shea butter and castor oil. It's actually pretty lightweight, which I really like because thick, rich creams tend to break me out for whatever reason. So I do have to stay away from them or put a really, really tiny amount. So I am putting this all over my face and neck. Usually I don't do an eye cream, but I am tonight. I don't feel like eye creams are very necessary to be perfectly honest, but they are nice. And if you like eye creams or if you like doing like a longer skincare routine, nothing wrong with getting one. I think they're really great, even though they're not always necessary. I can't say I always buy eye creams, but if someone's gonna gift it to me for my birthday, I'm gonna use it. And so this one is the Biosan Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream. As skeptical as I am about eye creams, I really, really love this one. It's just super creamy, very buttery. So the marine algae is what helps with fine lines. Squalene is what helps to kind of just lock in that moisture. I go all around my eyes. If you have sensitive skin, don't go too close to your eyes. So skincare routine is not completely over without some cooling globes. I love cooling globes. There's not a lot of facial tools that I like, but I think helping to de-puff is really important to me. I do get pretty puffy around my eyes. I kind of just do this and it feels so good just for my under eye. I do this in the morning as well, especially if I wake up really puffy. I feel like this skincare routine to me is literally like a facial experience at home. It's very satisfying. So this is my skin when I'm done with my skincare. Not much redness, which is really important. If your skin is red after doing a skincare routine, 
there's a product that's in there that is most likely irritating you, I would rinse and go back in there and maybe minus the product that you think might be doing that. Skincare that does make your skin red is not good for you. Even if it's seemingly great product, it's not making your skin happy and that can lead to a breakout or irritation. So to just like kind of nip that in the butt, rinse your face and then go back and do like a more minimalistic skincare routine for that night or day. Do remember that skincare routines definitely are dependent on personal preference. I find that these are things that work for me and they make my skin very happy. They may not do the same for you. So definitely look into the products, look into the ingredients. I know you guys are already very well educated, so. I'm sure you'll make some really amazing choices. But anyways, these are great products to look up if you haven't before. Thank you so much for going through this with me and I hope you enjoyed my skincare routine.